Hi, this is Chris Dudwin, hanging out here with my buddy, Eli, and I uh, thought this would be a good time to, to read a book. This is the book I want to read. It's called Chris Dreams Big. It was written by my wife uh, and I. Um, it's the story of a kid who overcomes diabetes to play in the NBA, and it's really a story that's for kids about overcoming uh, any obstacle. It doesn't have to be diabetes. It can be anything, but just having the perseverance and belief in themselves uh, to succeed. So here it goes. Have you ever felt like you could not do something because you were afraid of what might happen if you tried? This is a story of a boy who felt the same way. Hi, my name is Chris. That's me riding my bike when I was a little kid. I was great at popping wheelies. I loved riding my bike, swimming, being with my friends and playing sports, especially basketball. I dreamed of being a professional basketball player. Just being a kid was fun. But one day I woke up and felt awful. I didn't have the energy to do all the activities that made being a kid so great. I was so tired and thirsty. I had to go to the bathroom all the time. My dad took me to the doctor. I was a little scared, but I knew the doctor would help me feel better. My doctor told me I had diabetes. Did have Having diabetes mean I couldn't be me anymore? The doctor gave me and my dad a lot of helpful information. All the doctors told me that if I carefully followed the plan for taking care of my diabetes, I could do all of the things I love to do, even play basketball. At first it seemed fair enough, but when I got home from the hospital, I started feeling really nervous. What if I started not feel good again? What if I wasn't as good at basketball anymore? I went to my basketball game and told my coach and teammates that I had diabetes and might not be able to play anymore. My teammate Joey raised his hand. I have asthma and I still play basketball, he said. I make sure I have my inhaler with me at all times. I listen to my doctor and take good care of myself. And if I'm not feeling well, I tell my coach, he explained. Thomas raised his hand next. I'm hearing impaired, but I learned to sign language and got this hearing aid, so I can hear better now, he said. Then Isaac raised his hand. My sister, Fatima, is in her wheelchair, and she loves to swim. She has a special chair she uses to get in the pool, he explained. Coach Mackey stepped forward. See, Chris, many people have challenges, but it does not keep them from doing the things they love. Chris, did your doctor say you could play basketball? Coach Mackey asked. Yes, he did, I answered. Well then, if you listen to your doctor and your parents, exercise and eat well, you can keep doing the things you love to do, Coach Mackey said. But there is one more very important thing you must do, Coach Mackey said. You have to believe in yourself. A big smile came across my face. I felt great. My coach was right. Diabetes was not going to keep me from playing basketball. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's play some basketball, I exclaimed. wasn't always easy, but I did my best to take care of my diabetes. I wanted to grow up strong and healthy, so I listened to my doctor and my parents. I ate healthy food and exercise, but most importantly, I believed in myself. And guess what? My hand grew to be this size. How big is your hand? I did my best to take care of my diabetes. I listened to my doctor and my parents. 
I ate healthy food and exercised and, keep, and kept reaching for my dream. And guess what? My feet grew to be this size. How big are your feet? I did my best to take care of my diabetes. I listened to my doctor and my parents. I ate healthy food and exercise. And guess what? I grew to be six foot eleven. How tall are you? It wasn't always easy having diabetes. Some days I felt like I was doing everything that I was supposed to do and still wouldn't feel well. But I would always remember Joey's asthma, Thomas being hearing impaired, and Fatima being in a wheelchair. They weren't letting their challenges stop them. I was not going to be stopped either. I studied hard in school and practiced playing basketball and had big dreams. And guess what? My dream came true. My name is Chris Dudley. My dream to play professional basketball came true. I, I have diabetes and I played in the National Basketball Association, the NBA, for 16 years. Diabetes did not stop me from achieving my dreams. What is your dream? I always tell kids to work hard, study hard, and never give up on your dreams. Everyone will have challenges in life. It is how they deal with them that matters. Always believe in yourself and dream big. I hope you enjoyed our, our, the book today. And I hope you follow your dreams. Figure out what it is you want to do in life and follow it. And don't. Everybody has challenges, but just uh, persevere and go through it. Dream big and good things can happen.